Hello everybody, it's Zagram here again. It's Friday, so it's another game roulette. Today I'm playing a game called Pioneers. Uh, found the one. Of the, this is another one of those games where I just kind of uh, just stumbled across, really. And I played it a little bit just to test to make sure it wasn't terrible, and it really wasn't. Um, I also went through the tutorial, so I shouldn't have to do that. Uh, I will warn, it has a lot of reading in it, so we'll see how well that goes. And uh, something I liked about it, it's uh, the fact that it's like this pixel sort of base game. Uh, something that has in here is it has these different palettes that you can choose from, which I thought was really cool. Uh, I don't like most of them, but I like the fact that there's the option to have them. Um, so I thought that was neat. And then the default one, you can just adjust the colors slightly if you prefer warmer colors. So I thought that was all pretty cool. Now this was made by a single guy. Uh, he's been working on it since April 2012, I think, something like that. So he's been working on it for a while. Uh, but he just doesn't his spare time, as far as I could tell. So we'll click New Game. Uh, like I mentioned, there will be a lot of reading, so hopefully I can manage to do that. Uh, it is technically an alpha, even though it's been going for, like, I don't know, a long time. Uh, so the game did crash on me before, whenever I was testing it, so uh, don't hold it against it too much if it crashes on me. Lightning. And uh, we'll start a new game. And uh, I haven't run across the difficulty too much in the game, but these are the difficulties, so we'll just go with the normal. Uh, begin. Dearest Father, when you shall receive this letter, I have long been on the seas heading for the new, heading to the new world. I remember fondly when I was young, and you took me for a hike in the nearest, in the nearby forest, teaching a young boy to read the val valuable signs of nature. I then knew I wanted to go and explore the world. There is so much I want to see, and much to do. You encouraged me and told me I would do. I would go down in history. I shall not rest until I have seen what lies beyond the horizon, as I am curious. They say each journey begins with a single step, and I am ready to take my first one. I shall board the ship to Olden very soon, a town of many explorers, to gather some fine men to accompany me uh, on this dangerous journey. I am grateful for the gold you have provided to help me get started. I am accompanied by some very interesting people on this trip. Mordsby, a seasoned hunter, and Dakota, to, yeah, Dakota, a f very friendly spiritual man from whom I could learn a lot. Looking forward to the travel. Father, I will make you proud. So, continue. The captain of the Chetlin, Athena, and the passengers are conversing on the upper deck. The wind is slowly picking up in the speed and picking up speed and slacked ropes clunk against the hull of the ship. And that's how I killed the bear rather brilliant wait, brilliantly, says Moresby, as he finishes up another one of his hunting stories. I'm losing my place. <laughs> Most fascinating tale, Mr. Moresby. Surely you have kept a trophy of that adventurous event, replies the captain with a faint in with faint interest in discussion in hand. Oh, indeed, good sir. I carry the claw of the bear around with me everywhere I travel. It has brought me nothing but good luck on my voyages. The kind, the kind spiritual, spirited, uh, engine... Uh, Dakota has clear is clearly upset upon hearing this. Not raising his voice, he says, Nature to command must be obeyed. What? Surely you don't believe this utter nonsense. That is quite the sort of witchcraft I traveled here to get away from. The snarky tone of Moresby does not pass Dakota by, but he seems unfazed, daring his ears with during his years living among these people, he has come to accept their rudeness and sometimes unpleasant manners. Everybody quiets down for a moment, waiting to break the silence and ca the silence. The captain turns to you and asks, How about you, young fellow? I don't believe we have yet been introduced. Who are you? Gee Willikers, there's so much reading. Alright, continue to create a character. Alright, so, uh, here you can credit the first member of your party. If you have not played Pioneers before and aren't sure which profession to choose, then the scout is a safe bet to take. Alright. 
Um, let's see. Scout is a safe bet. Who who likes to be safe though? I I surely don't. We got a hunter. We got a scholar. Got a craftsman, a soldier, and a scout. Now I'm trying to remember. Uh, I never got into any fights whenever I played. Uh, earlier I didn't get far enough because the game crashed on me whenever I was heading out to do that. But um. I was a soldier, although I readjusted all of my stats, which you can do. Um, so I guess I'll will be a. I'm closing my eyes. I have no idea what I'm being. It's a hunter. All right, I'm fine with that. Let's see. For a hunter, we have bonus to agility and perception. Uh, that's fine. Let's. I'm gonna leave the stats just like this. I don't think I want to adjust any of that. And uh, we're obviously going to change the name. Actually, let's just generate a couple to see what we get. Yep, not one any of them. I want to put in my own name. Uh, today I will be... Um, Sir Dr. Professor Zagram the, 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 the Great. Yeah. That's that's a normal name, right? And we can assign skills. I think we have up to three. Uh, let's see. Being a hunter, have access to some ones that I didn't have as a uh, what's a majigger, a soldier. Forlers for shortcuts without getting lost, right? Stealth hides hide sneaking greatly be undetected. Steal items, pickpocket individuals, gain of ability. Okay. Uh, so basically, it looks like hunters can act sort of like rogues fishing. Uh, there is no description of such. No description of hunting. Uh, let's go with hiking. Add. I think we'd have up to three. That's why I got as a soldier. We'll add fishing. That sounds good. And uh, I guess... I guess we'll go with stealth. Why not? Even though I'm a hunter, I'm not going to pick hunting, whatever. Uh, add. And uh, done. After briefly introducing yourself, the captain is clearly delighted to meet you. Excellent, Mr. Dr. Professor Zagram the Great. Glad to have a man with such noble, notable skills on board. Having not been properly introduced earlier, Dakota says everything accomplished starts with the decision to, decision to try. May the spirits bless you. Moresby seems to pay little attention to you and instead turns to the captain and asks about their voyage. Tell us, captain, how long till we reach Olden? The land is close. It must be. The wind has been generous. Wait, let's see. Generous and should it stay that way, it mustn't be farther than a week, he replies. What worries me is the storm ahead. I had great confidence we would go past it, but it seems to be heading straight at us. After a brief pause, he adds, uh, the last leg of the journey might get choppy. Moresby and yourself look ahead of the ship and see a dark storm cloud approaching in the distance. To your surprise, you find the storm moving in, a ra in rather quickly. Dakota has walked farther back on the ship and is repeatedly saying something to himself. All of a sudden, everything goes white for a brief moment and the thunderous clap can be heard not uh, there's not twice there not a second from the flash did you see that says Moresby rather excitedly as he continues this is unlike any storm I've ever seen and I've seen a few in my day continue the story is going to take up most of the recording it seems like the first drops of rain can be heard bouncing against the thick cloth of the sails above their heads. The storm is closing in at an ever-increasing pace, and after a short while, the rain becomes drowningly dense. The ship cracks violently as it moves up and down and crashes into the oncoming waves. The captain yells, Hold on to your hats and pipes, everybody. Grabbing their hats, everybody rushing, rushingly searches for something to hold on to. Dakota has returned from the back of the ship to join the group. A sudden strong breeze wipes, whips the hat off of Moresby. My hat, he exclaims. The captain now, with a completely stern face, barely manages to hold on to the wheel. 
the ship is completely under the storm cloud and the hull creaks ver I don't know what that word is bolts of lightning hit the ocean all around the ship all of a sudden a, la a loud crack can be heard several strong waves hit the ship from the side cracking the hull and the and the Chetland fl filling with water is no longer controllable and in the last desperation the captain yells I can't keep her steady much longer we're sinking abandoned ship everybody you jump the ship and land in what feels like freezing water the dense rain splashing in the sea and cracking of the sinking ship make hearing anything an almost impossible task but you f you faintly hear the name hear your name being called you look around as the con right. constant flashing of lightning illuminates the dark sea you notice Dakota hanging onto a piece of the side of the ship waving and yelling at you you swim towards him and eventually manage to grab and climb onto the drifting piece of wood as morning arrives bringing daylight and warmth of spring you barely manage to keep your eyes open just long enough to find the sea calm and no sign of last night's distress. Dakota has reached around you with all of his strength, keeps you from slipping it off the piece of wood. From the corner of your eye, you can make out what seems like land in the distance before losing consciousness. You come around to find yourself on firm ground beside a fire giving you warmth you so desperately need. Dakota is kneeling on the ground beside you and looking over you and says, Okay, I did warn. There was a lot of reading. Um... But the game is about to start opening up into the actual game now. Mr. Dr. Professor Zagram the Great, wake up. It's Dakota. Spirits have been kind and the storm has spared us. I have to read those quick because they don't last very long. Mr. Dr. Professor Zagram the Great was unwell and Dakota went to produce the herbs. You appear better. These blah 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 blah. I didn't read that. You can pause it. Dakota, I owe you my life. Owe my life to that man. He had been washed up on the shore. Separated from his knowledgeable approach to medicine, I would have never survived. Since that storm has often... Uh, would you like to play the tutorial? New. No, I played it. Oh. Okay, well, I skipped actually a fair bit of the game there. Or the start of the game, which is okay. You lose all the stuff you get. It just teaches you how to move around and interact with objects. So that's all right. Uh, and... Okay, I didn't read that message in time, but... Uh, my bad. Anyway, we're in the first town, uh, so our f current goal is to go to the tavern. We're supposed to uh, get supplies. You'll see our quest here is to get supplies, but uh, I already know in advance that uh, the the uh, supply store is closed, so uh, we go to the tavern instead in search of information. Uh, we will talk to the tavern keeper. Hello? Uh, I will greet the tavern keeper. Greetings there. Glad to see you back on your feet. We were all rather worried, my friend. Uh, what happened? You just wandered into town from the forest all about a fortnight ago, saying your ship was hit by a storm. You were very feverish and had been recovering since then. Luckily, our medicine man was at hand. Uh, was the wreckage found? Uh, the Berg... Burgomaster assembled a party and sent them to seek out the wreckage of any sur and any survivors, although we did not hope to find any souls. Uh, what did they find? They did find the ship a few days' trek west from here, but no casualties, I'm afraid. Did you know your fellow tra travelers well? Uh, not that well. What about Dakota? Dakota? No one was seen when the town folk found you. You did mention another survivor, but the good doctor said it was just because of the fever. Uh, okay. Why is the supply store closed? I cannot say why. Uh, I cannot say, but why don't you ask the merchant? That's him in the corner there. Alright, I will do that. And then the I cannot talk to the merchant. Yeah. Uh, hello, Mr. Merchant. Uh, I shall greet you. Hi there, adventurer. How may I help you? Uh, why was the store closed? I would not keep my fair business closed if it were not for a shortage of goods. No goods? How come? I do not know the reason, but the ship bringing us goods from Revale has not arrived this season. Nothing to stock the shelves with I, 
stuck the shelves with, I thought better to keep my store closed. Trouble with the storm? Or pirates, perhaps? Information moves slowly in this part of the world, so we cannot be sure. There have been no tales of pirates, pirates and I do not believe that there are... They... I do not believe to be the source of the problem. Whatever the reason, it is most devastating to my business. I do not wish... I do wish to learn of the cause. Anywhere else I can find goods? The merchant in Malikurdad, I don't know, it's a friend uh, most well of mine and he often keeps stock for times in need. He may have items to sell you. Is there any way to reach? Uh, sometimes ships travel from this town, but I do not know more. Talk to the bearded harbor master right over there, he surely knows. But a word of warning, the harbor master is not too keen on people, especially complete strangers. All right, I will converse with somebody else. Uh, hello, Mr. Harbor Master. What do you want? Uh, I'm looking to travel. Look, all you want, but it ain't gonna find anything here. The only ship set for that place you want to go to is the season is full, with, and we're not taking any more uh, landlubbers. But the merchant told... That merchant can tell his fantastic stories till the cows come home. But I, I'm saying to you, the only ship going to that place you want to go to is at her fullest. Now make your leave. All right, but uh, sir, would you like an ale? Do as, do as thou wilt. I'm not one to say nay to an ale. All right, would you, uh, would you care for another drink, sir? You're all right, lad. <laughs> You're all right for a landlubber. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I'm looking to go to that place I mentioned before. You know, you might be able to get a, you know, a spot on the ship. It's bound to leave soon, so you better hurry up. You're all right, lad. You know that. Okay, uh, I shall do that. So, uh, we've made him get drunk, so we got a free ride to uh, this place we want to go to. So we will join the travel. Okay, close this and travel. Uh, I, I will go a little bit longer than 20 minutes on this video because I know most of this has been just talking and we have yet to actually see any of the gameplay of traveling around and exploring. Had I known that would have been the case, I would have in fact uh, done the tutorial because you would have gotten to see a little bit of that. So we'll go on a little bit longer. Hopefully it's not too, too long-winded for you. It is a bit like reading a book. And I am, in fact, drinking water. Because it's a lot of my voice. Uh, let's see. We need to go to the tavern, because we're looking for the shopkeeper man. And we'd like to talk to the merchant, please. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Greet. Greetings, stranger. You seem like you're looking for something. How may I help? Uh, the merchant Olden sent me. I'm looking for some goods. Uh, oh, how is my dear friend these days? We have not met for what seems like ages. Last we spoke was at the Merchant's Guild gathering after, and after a long round of ales, he, oh, I mustn't bore you with this. Uh, his business is closed. Good grief. How many, how many times have I told him to keep a little stock in surplus and not just put everything out on the shelves? But does he learn? You, my friend, you're in luck. I have some things that might interest you. I hope by... Wait, just drop by my store. It's on the opposite end of town, not far from here. Once you have what you need, find me back here, and I might have something for you to do. All right. Uh, so we'll leave. We will head for uh, the supply store. And I know we have to get a particular amount of stuff, uh, mostly the food and water. So we'll go ahead and get that in advance. Yeah, I I'm aware. We need, I think, 90 water, give or take. Water's free, so it doesn't really matter too, too much. Uh, and then we needed 120 meat or other foods, I believe. So we'll get a little bit of each. Uh, Bye. We'll get some biscuits. Uh, I'll get a couple of these. Bye. There we go. And I think that's all we need of that. We'll get the, some bread too. Why not? Bye. There we go. And uh, we'll look at some other stuff. It sounds like it would be good. Flint. 
sounds like I would want that. I want to start a fire. Uh, flask, which I guess we can hold water in, maybe? Who knows? And a tent to sleep. Uh, weapons. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What am I? I'm a... I'm a hunter, right? Uh, let's see. We want an axe, probably. So I think we're done technically with the getting ready. We'll get... Uh, do you actually have to have arrows? I guess not. I didn't look at this before. We'll get a bow. Uh, yes. And we'll get the leather armor that I know is down here. Bye. We start off with a lot of gold. Uh, that may change later on in the game. Uh, and we'll get a fishing rod too, because I got the fishing skill. Uh, and we'll get a knife. I think we're good there. Done. So we got all of our supplies. We'll head back to the tavern and talk to the merchant about... Uh, his little offer. Ah, glad you're interested. I have a little proposition for you, and while I admit it may not be, it may not bring the greatest glory, it feels the ideal task for you to tackle seeing how you want to build up your reputation. We all have to start somewhere, right? Uh, right. Take a look at your journal. It tells you exactly what you need to do and decide if you want to accept my offer. Okay. So I'll look at my journal. Uh, quest, let's see, okay, oh here it is, right, uh, I'm a humble merchant and I'm always looking for goods to enrich in my stock, uh, blah blah blah, he basically wants me to go get spices on this island, I accept, I already read it before, so, uh, okay, so we want to talk to the harbor master because we need to get a ship, uh, yes, I'm looking to hire a vessel. Your best bet is to catch up with one of the sea captains right here in the tavern. To my knowledge, there is no... There's one going by the name of Captain Barlow, returning the next season. Talk to him. Uh, what do I do to tell them? What else is there to do but hang around in the tavern and wait for the season to pass? Talk to the townskeeper. He can perhaps accommodate you. Alright. So I will talk to the tavern keeper. Hello. Good den, stranger. What brings you to our town? Uh, I need to. Uh, I need a place for accommodation. If you must wait to carry on with an adventure, you can pass the season right here in my tavern. I have a few rooms for you uh, to rent up these stairs. Stay as long as you wish. Fair pr and prices are fair. Okay. Uh, so I need to. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, I need to leave. Click on the tavern. Pass the season. And uh, it looks like Captain Barlow has arrived in your town. Visit the tavern to see what you can find. And blah, blah, blah. Okay. We will go... Ch oh, wait. We have to go to the tavern, right? Tavern. Talk to people. Captain Barlow. Hello. Uh, greet. Ahoy there, mate. What can I do for you? Uh, I understand you have a vessel to charter. Indeed. I am a captain for hire. My ship is mighty and the price is fair. I gather you are interested in employing my services? Yes. Uh, yes. My ship awaits you... For, wait, my ship awaits for you in the docks. Load up with your cargo and crew, and we shall leave when you are ready. Okay, uh, so leave Haba, uh, the docks, and we need to put me in the ship, and we need to put all our supplies, just, just shove it all in there. And done. Now, this is where the game crashed on me before. Hopefully, it won't leave a bad impression by crashing again. Uh, so, sail out. And we want to go to this island right here. So continue and pray it doesn't crash. Oh, awesome. It didn't crash. That's where it crashed last time, so I'm excited. All right. So do we just... Uh, okay, we can move our ship as such. So we're here to get spices. There's a bear. Uh, if you want to continue exploring on foot, either choose to disembark from the actions menu on the left or click an empty piece of land near the ship uh, or right-click on the same tile, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is all new to me. I haven't gotten this far before. Uh, you have these different moves. It's a, it's an interesting game. It's like an adventure turn-based strategy RPG all in one, which is cool. Uh, looks like we got a wolf here, a rat, I guess, maybe. Let's just hop off here. Uh, disembark. Uh, you have found some spices you need to collect. Okay. Uh, alright, so... 
It says I found spices. I don't know where. Okay, so these are spices here. So we got to move over here. Uh, boop. There's our movement. Let's actually get some of our gear set up as well. So we got our bag over here, uh, which I have no items in my backpack. Is it all on the ship? Uh. Huh. That could be a problem. Let's uh, grab all these spices. All take. Uh, let's see if we can't start heading back to this ship. Uh, characters out of moves continue. Yeah, I know. So we got to end our turn since we're out of moves and we get more moves again. Uh, let's embark for a second. Backpack. Show all items. Where's all the stuff I put on the boat? Oh wait, show brig. Okay, here's all my crap. Uh, close this. I want to take this stuff with me. There we go. Armor. We'll take our fishing rod, our knife. We'll leave the... No, wait. We want the tent. Uh, and we'll take... Can't take the fresh water for some reason. Uh, dried meat, we'll take some of. We won't take all of it. Just, just a little bit. Okay, ten units, I guess, take. Oh, I don't have enough space. Uh, let's see. Backpack. Uh, let's see, we want to drop this. So that went into the hull. Uh, Let's not take the bow with us for now. Uh, all right. Okay, I'm okay with that. Dried meat. We'll take that, and let's let's just drink a little bit of this. Let's just. Let's just wing it. All right. Uh, disembark. Now, did I bring the armor stuff? Okay, here it is. Equip item. There we go. That's equipped. And uh, equip in the left hand. We'll equip this in the right hand, I guess. Bam. Ready for anything. And uh, we'll carry on. Now, let's see. Look at the forest. We got wood and stuff in here, which I don't think we can do much with right now. Uh, let's go find some more spices, if we may. Oh, we got to end our turn. Healing herbs. Uh, I don't think that's what we need. Spices. We'll take uh, all of them, please. Take. End our turn again. Boop. Now there's a way to chop down trees. But I don't know how to do it apparently. Or maybe you can only do it in certain places. Who knows. Uh, I don't seem to be able to get much farther here. Oh, actually, let me check real quick. Uh, let's see, how do I check this? I want to check my journal. And I could do it up here somewhere. Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, place a flag. No, oh, okay. I've never seen that before. I want... Where the heck is my journal? View? Okay, here it is journal please so how many spices are we supposed to actually get uh, objectives 40 units okay let's uh, embark oh we need more moves right okay I can I can deal with that oh we got a wolf guy coming here let's attack him 
This might be the end of me. Attack? Okay, click on him. Alright. Uh oh. How much health do I actually have? Where is that? Oh, it's up here, I guess. It doesn't actually give you a number, I don't guess. Attack him again. Uh. Attack. Yay! I win. Show. So he's got some meat, and some fur. Take the fur. Uh. Can I. Can I take this? Take? Okay. Okay, no. I'll I'll leave that for the time being. I do need to eat, however. I see this bar. I believe that's my hunger, so uh let's go ahead and where is it? Food I forgot oh it's right here. That's what I want. We got food here. Dried meat spices. Let's uh eat I don't know. Two? What does that do for me? a little bit more. Uh oh. Alright, well that was a cut. I had a phone call. Uh, what was I doing? Alright, uh, let's... I think I'm about to cut off on this video. Uh, basically I just want to show you what it's about. That's what game roulettes are all about anyway. Uh, and I think the rest of what I'd be doing here is just uh, exploring around trying to find uh, I wonder why I can't cut this stuff down. I have an axe equipped and everything. Uh, I'd just be going around trying to uh, find spices, which I'm sure is absolutely exciting for you. But uh, I think you get the point. It's uh, is this drinking like salt water? You're not supposed to do that. Uh, there's a bear here. I can just uh, float around here like this. But uh, as you can see, it's just kind of an adventure, explorey game. It has a lot of text, but... Oh, I'm out of moves. Yeah, that's okay. But, uh, I think it's a good game. Uh, it's free, as of now. I do believe it has a Steam... Wait, does this game have a Steam Greenlight, or am I thinking of another game I looked at? I don't know. If it has a Steam Greenlight, uh, it will be in the description. Because I think this guy does need to get support. Uh, just because... I think it's a cool game. And, uh... I mean, he's been working on it for as long as he has. May as well give him some support for it, right? Boop. Take. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Game Roulette. This has been Pioneers. Uh, link will be in the description for it. It is free at this point in time. So, if you're interested... Oops. Uh, no. No. Uh, and by all means, pick her up. So, until next time, I've been Sagram, and I'll catch you later.